Firefighters risk their lives while controlling fires. And sometimes they get injured or even die while trying to save us. Factory में लगी आग को बुझाने के दौरान दो दंगल कर्मियों की मौत हो गई है नरेला और दियोगे क्षेत्र में. What if we could deploy drones to fight fires? With that, my team and I set out to build this drone. Technology is seeping into every aspect of our lives, and drones have played a big role in major industries like infrastructure mapping, defense, mining. and agriculture and as technology evolves the applications of drones is only going to get more intense niti aayog the think tank of india has put together a comprehensive plan for deploying drones and enabling industries to become more efficient and embrace technology for development drones provide a robust platform which enables us to do anything that our minds can imagine like high quality aerial photography surveillance performing deliveries and of course extinguishing fires thanks to its efficient way of moving from one point to another so this is arava a drone these are its motors what they do is they spin the propellers which generate lift in an upward direction and this right here this black thing is called the esc also stands for electronic speed controller basically this is what controls the amount of current which goes into the motor so the thing which gives the signal to the escs is called the flight controller we are using a pixaw 2.4.8 and this right here is the receiver the receiver receives the input from the radio transmitter and through this we are able to control the drone as of now and there is also one more thing called as telemetry which receives signal from a laptop we are able to control it through a laptop with the help of this telemetry module this is the lidar sensor so with which we are able to detect the uh, distance the way it works is it sends a light beam and it receives it and the time it took between the sending and receiving it multiplies it with the speed of light to take out the distance this is the camera which will give video feed to the raspberry pi and what do you think tells which motor to spin how fast this is our flight controller it receives input through this receiver and transmits to electronic speed controller through this signal pins then these escs control the speed and rotation of the motors we use a software called mission planner to calibrate our drone in this software we can also set a gps waypoints through which drone will automatically calculate and follow its path we can also write complex mission script through this software this is about our controller but how does the drone process the video feed detect the fire and control it now here comes the main part of the drone the brain of the drone that is the r5 so here is the r5 it contains several ml models that is the fire extinguishing model the object detection model the agricultural model and the gesture model here this r5 will take the input parameters from the camera and the lidar which will run its own python script to determine the altitude height and time when the drone will fly without any object collision avoidance but how exactly this drone will extinguish the fire so now let me explain our approach that how our drone will extinguish fire and save lives To extinguish fire, first we have to detect fire. To detect the fire, we have trained a ML model in TensorFlow 2, which we have converted into TensorFlow Lite, efficient performance on edge devices like Raspberry Pi. This enables the drone to process the visual data in real time and navigate towards detected fire. Additionally, we are planning to integrate PX4 flight control system to achieve full autonomy. PX4 flight control system is a open source autopilot software that will provide us with a precise control over drone movements and allow navigation. We are also planning to 3D print a mount for the fire extinguisher wall. This design will implement the concepts of physics like projectile motion, hot air physics to ensure effective fire extinguishing by a drone without any human intervention. This comprehensive integration of AI, advanced flight control system and physics is what truly makes our project stand out. Now this drone also have some use cases in agricultural fields. It works on the ML model and uses a library like OpenCV and TensorFlow Lite. It takes input from the camera and processes the data and provide the details of the plant to the users like the nature of the plant, health life and many more. Also not everyone is aware about how to fly the drone. That's why we are working on the project with which we can fly the drone with the hand gestures so that any unexperienced person can fly the drone easily. But how we will make this bad boy fully autonomous? So, what is a fully autonomous drone? A fully autonomous drone is a drone which can take all kind of its necessary decision by its own mind using its R5 that will be having all kind of model installed in it. मान लीजिए हमारा drone उड़ रहा है 
और उठते वक्त उसके सामने ये पेड़ आ जाता है अभी ये पेड़ उसके लिए एक ऑब्स्टेकल बन चुका है इस ऑब्स्टेकल को पास करने के लिए वी हैव पुटेड आर ड्रोन विद ऑब्जेक्ट कोलिजन अवेयरनेस मॉडल इन बट हाउ आर ऑब्जेक्ट कोलिजन अवेयरनेस मॉडल वर्क फॉर सेम वी हैव पुटेड अ लाइड आर ऑन इट इट्स अंगल पॉइंट लाइड आर That can take up to 40 meter of distance of the object in its range. We have put it the lidar on the gimbal of our drone. क्योंकि lidar को अगर हम अपने gimbal में रखेंगे तो gimbal सीधा drone के head पर point करता है जिसके through हमें drone के आगे का distance मिल सकेगा और हम उससे movement करके आस पास के objects का भी distance पता लगा सकते हैं So, अगर पेड़ की तरह drone के आगे कोई भी obstacle आ जाता है तो drone अपने path को redirect करके एक safe destination पर पहुंच जाएगा And this is our Fully autonomous object collision avoidance work. But how we came up to this point? It all started back when Shri Krishna, my friend, shared his idea with me. Even I had my friends who really showed their interest in this project. Then we presented this project to Abhimanyu sir, who introduced us to uh, Sai sir, who is our project manager himself. They really liked our problem solving approach, and hence the drone lab was formed. We started our journey from procuring the parts. to researching 40 companies and products to make our drone distinct and unique the first day of building the drone was quite intense we made a wrong esc and motor calibration of the drone then we also made a false wiring in the drone part which was quite tedious to figure out then we made a lot of silly mistakes like after procuring all the parts we realized that we forgot the basic thing that is the wires for the drone and the main silly mistake we did was going down to the solution instead of looking for the root cause of the problem and even though having exams after one week we sat down from morning to night complete 12 hours build the project even though facing some challenges then we completed the drone making which took the first flight oh! This is our drone Eravat. Right now we just have one in our arsenal, but we plan to have at least hundreds in the coming future which will be flying simultaneously and being controlled in real time. It it is called drone swarms and it is an upcoming technology which has applications in drone shows and many more. Apart from firefighting, agricultural plant health monitoring and gesture controlled flight, we also plan to make fixed wing drones for the Indian Armed Forces which will be used to drop bombs on enemy targets and provide aerial support to our troops. posted in border areas being at scale school of technology we have also gotten the opportunity to showcase this drone to adobe google and ntt data and they've also given us an amazing opportunity to work on their project with them and there is so much more in coming so stay tuned thanks for watching i'll see you next time bye bye